With festivities so rich in tradition, adding something new to the Bristol 4th of July celebration can be a huge undertaking, but organizers are always up for the task. ABC6 reporter John Geis is live in Bristol with a preview of what to expect. John, what do they have in store for us? Good morning, Allie. You know, it can be a challenge trying to make the Bristol 4th of July celebration new and exciting, but this year, all organizers had to do was to look in their own backyard. It may be the 227th edition of the Bristol 4th of July celebration, but there's plenty that will be new. It's pretty exciting. Ray Levy, parade vice chairman, has worked hard to make this year's version of the celebration as vibrant as the others. In 24 floats, there's a new float for, prepared by Raytheon, a new, when I say new, they're in historically every year, but they've built a new one this year. We haven't even seen it yet. Organizers of this year's celebration are also proud to have a strong representation of America's armed forces. We have Mr. Gary Wetzel, who is the Medal of Honor recipient. He's accompanied this year by Lieutenant General Mike Flynn, who's the Assistant Director of National Intelligence from Virginia as his aide, which is pretty big. An added attraction that will turn a lot of heads at the parade is newly crowned Miss USA, making her homecoming to Rhode Island. Cranston native Olivia Colpo was crowned Miss USA last month, the first time a Rhode Islander has won the pageant. So we're really happy that we could honor her in the parade. It was a, a big score for us to get her to come, you know, because her schedule is real tight. The bands will be there bigger and better than ever. We have seven drum corps, five of which are in the top ten in the United States. They're from Texas, from Jacksonville, Florida, from Allentown, Pennsylvania, from all over the country. Now you can watch the Bristol Fourth of July celebration presented by Alex and Ani right here on ABC6 starting at 10.30 tomorrow. Live in Bristol, John Geis, ABC6 News.